Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy Handyman, Handy Andy On Demand. Welcome back to a project run through. We're way in the north end of coming and this is a beautiful house out here. And this place was custom built. They did a really good job on it. They cheated on the paint. That was one of the few areas that they cheated on the house. And we'll show you some common things with this house that happens with all kind of houses, but what a beautiful home. And so here we're looking at painting. Uh, so we're staying the same color here. So we'll spot prime anything that's peeling uh, with Zinsser 123 tinted primer and then one coat of paint over everything that's painted on the outside surfaces. When you get into the mortar right here, uh, this is a sand mix and you can see where a lot of the mortar has just crumbled and fallen out. So we'll spot mix this and try to match it. it it'll be off, it won't match exactly. Um, when the guys come out to clean the house, we'll go ahead and pressure wash this and clean it down. So we'll get all the mold out of it. Uh, so it'll whiten it up a little bit. We'll get close on the match, but it, we can't match this exactly. The guys that did these steps were the same guys that mortared the house and they used the same sand mix to do it. Uh, so only the person that made this mix would match it exactly. Uh, and the house itself, they used a, a some sort of a, a hardy type soffit. It's hard to see it, but it, it, I don't know that product. It's not hardy plank, I'm not sure who it is, but it's an aggregate concrete. Uh, you can see where if you look closely and the light's failing us, you see that discoloration in the fascia? The fascia is actually a wood. So that's rotted right there. And every gutter corner on this house is leaking as you go all the way around. So we need to clean the gutters and seal every one of these joints with clear elastomeric sealant. And she'll just have to come back and redo that once every five years or so. All this stuff is pretty good here. Um, it's so funny because they used fascia. The fascias appear to be wood, like this one right here. You can see it's rotting and separating right here. But here on these trim boards, on this outside column, they used some sort of a synthetic and the weight of her flagpole and the wind just ripped it off and broke it out. Uh, so we'll, we can actually just patch that piece. She's got the piece here. We'll put a piece of pressure treated behind it to give it some strength. Um, they'll pull this cap out of here and then put it back. Um, but this appears to be some sort of a, a hardy type board and I'm not exactly sure. Actually, this is, it's not hardy, it's a vinyl product. I don't even know why they would have installed that here. But they did. Um, but it doesn't appear to be the fascia boards. We'll clean and restain this short deck right here, this area back here. And then we're repainting everything on the house. She's got a number of trim boards around this house. And you'll see them here. So this outside trim board up here, it's called rake molding. And that was really an interior piece that they used outside. So this section is rotted on this side of the house, on the left side. The fascia here has the same kind of an issue. We're going to see a bunch of them. And the guys will check them. If they're not rotted, don't need repairs, they'll take it off the bill and not do it. But every single one of these corners is leaking. If you go up here into this upper corner, it's going to be hard to see it in the failing light. And it's starting to sprinkle out right now. See the gap in it and the darkness in it? It just lets you know that it's rotted or the caulk has failed. You see these corners right here? See the black line? It was never caulked really well to begin with. Beautiful house though. Um, this gutter back here has a ton of pitch and it's leaking on this corner. You'll see it when we get up on the deck. These doors down here, I think this one's in okay shape. And when the guys are here, they'll check everything. The kids kind of come in and out of this door, I think. This one over here is more fixed in place. And so if you look closely, you can put your hand right through this. So this is wood. That's rotted, and you can see when you get down in here, see my finger, look, see it go right through. So they've used a mix of materials on this house. Um, I haven't seen a vinyl trim board like that. It's something like a Trex material. They really shouldn't, on that post back there, they shouldn't have used that. So when you get up on the rear deck, uh, we're breaking this out as a separate price for her to clean and restain this deck. And then when you get up on the deck itself, you can see the rake mold on this side is, is rotted through. Same thing over here, rotted through. Uh, these doors are in good shape. One of the doors is just starting to rot. This corner fascia board right here has rot in it as well. And as you go around, there's about six or seven corners that are rotted on the house. Such a great place though. So, you know, it caught so much water in this corner. Good roofs, when you see them, do a new roof, they'll put metal drip flashing all the way around. They'll sit inside the edge of the shingles right here and come over that rake mold 
or over the fascia boards and it'll protect them from rotting. And since it didn't have it here, every time it rains, that top edge of trim is getting wet and it's absorbing water behind the back side of it. And so that's what happened here. There's so much moisture on this side of the house that this is a uh, fungi growing on the side of the house, basically mushrooms. This corner, this gutter is clogged and we need to see why. You can actually, if you look closely in the bottom of it, you'll see some light in there. The light's failing right now, so you can't really see it as well as I can with my naked eye. See it right there? See that clear pinhole? Camera's having a hard time catching it, but right where the fascia board ends, you'll see a pinhole in the gutter, and that's where the water's coming through. So much water has come through here that it's actually crumbled this piece of um, aggregate soffit back here. It's basically concrete. They're great products. Um, it's one of the few maintenance-free type products that actually kind of works. So much water's coming down this corner here. You can see your corner board right here. I can put my finger right through it. See that hole? This whole bottom edge is like that, so we'll piece up through here. So it's just kind of interesting how they did some of this. Some of this is synthetic materials. Some of this where the caulk has failed, it just needs to be recaulked. Here they've used wooden corner boards. You know, maybe there wasn't a synthetic material. It looks like whoever built this house tried to make the exteriors maintenance free as they thought that they could. Um, you'll actually see, here you can actually see the whole joint of this gutter has opened up here. So we can actually rebuild that corner and seal it. You don't have to replace the whole gutter. They've used hidden hanger screws. Some of the gutters just need to be adjusted. Uh, and if you look closely, like you'll actually see, if you watch the dripping right here, hear it? And that's actually coming from this corner right here. You can see the water kind of dripping out. So you can have those corners like that. I, I can't zoom in well enough to show you, but in the bottom of that gutter, they put two screws. So you never want to put holes in the bottom of your gutters because they're going to leak. Uh, and these guys seal it with a Parbon type product that only lasts maybe a year, two years. We use a clear uh, elastomeric sealant that's designed for that product. It's a five year warranty on it. You just have to redo it every five years. But such a great house. We'll scoot back under here, underneath this little side deck. And I don't know if she wanted us to paint that porch or not, but we can, we'll paint the outside of it as part of the job. And then when you come up through here, this window right here, if you get up on it, so much water's coming off this corner roof. You can see there's no kick out flashing where the gutter hits the brick. That's why you've got this streaking down the brick. They never did the kick out flashing. But this particular window, if you look close, you see this discoloration in here and you see what looks like kind of a, a groove in the wood here in the sash window. So that window started to rot. It's getting a lot of water on top of this little thin piece is called a mullion. The water gets behind it and the inside sash isn't painted so it just absorbs wood, water I mean, and then it rots. So we can actually repair this wooden sash. We router out the bad wood, put in new wood. Um, this mullion right here on the, on the top of this sash and this one on the bottom of the sash are both rotting. We replace those. Um, and you can see what happens if you look closely uh, another thing to catch right here is you see that black against this window right here? That's where all your caulk is failing. See the black inside that white? And that's what starts costing you money because the water gets in there and it starts rotting the trim and then it gets inside the, the framing inside of your interior wall. And it starts causing mold and rot in there too. So super great house. It'll be fun to work on. We do so many of these. We love to get up to this part of the world because the lake is right here. My guys, if it was warmer weather, they'd be trying to borrow her boat over there and go for a, a ride anyway we pretty much do it all myself we've been doing this for over 25 years in atlanta you can catch us there um sometimes you can catch me at 770-265-9017 when we clean our gutters we just need to check these returns right here um, sometimes they're they're functional sometimes they're not these look like they're probably functional and they may be clogged she's got some clogs in the gutter somewhere but fortunately we can fix it all Andy with Handy Andy, see you at the next house. Bye for now.